hello everyone welcome to the yarn bowl today in this video we're gonna see how to crochet this cute baby socks and in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to crochet this uh, white socks which is for zero to three months and uh, in my blog which is in the description box the link for the pattern in the description box you have sizes for three to six months six to nine months and nine to twelve month sizes and uh, you can find the written pattern in the blog which is in the description box and um, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the size for 0 to 3 months and uh, just don't forget to find the link in the description box for the written pattern for all the sizes um, and uh, if you're new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn ball and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post a new video So for uh, the socks, I'm going to use 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and I'm going to use Bernard Baby's Boot uh, size 3 yarn. You can use any size 3 yarn for this project. For round 1, I'm going to work a magic ring and then I will work a chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet and then I will work 11 more double crochets around the magic ring. So all together we'll have 12 double crochets. And once that is done, I'm going to tighten the magic ring and then I will work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 3 to close this round 1. And then you can secure the magic ring with a knot. And that's the end of round 1. At the end of round 1, we'll have 12 stitches. <laughs> So now for round 2, I'm going to work a chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet and then the idea is to work 2 double crochet on each stitch around. So we have worked 1 double crochet in this stitch. So while finishing off this round, we'll work 1 more double crochet on the same stitch. So go ahead work 2 double crochet on each stitch around and while finishing off this round, we'll work 1 more double crochet on the stitch where we have worked our chain 3 so now work 2 double crochet on each stitch around So now we are going to end this round by working one more double crochet on the stitch where we have worked our starting chain 3 and once that is done I am going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 3 to close this round 2. So at the end of round 2 we will have 24 stitches. So now from round for round 3 I am going to work a chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet and then I'll go ahead work one double crochet on each stitch around so this is a non increment round we are not going to increment any stitches we are just going to work one double crochet on each stitch around and once that is done I'm going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 3 to close this round 3 so at the end of round 3 we will still have 24 double crochet stitches So now from round 4 to round 6 we are just going to repeat round 3 that is we will be working 
one double crochet on each stitch around we will start off the round by working a chain 3 which is considered as our first double crochet and then we will work one double crochet on each stitch around then work a slip stitch on top of your starting chain 3 to close the round so go ahead work or uh, repeat round 3 from round 4 to round 6 I will meet you at the end of round 6 So now we are going to start working the heel part of our socks. Now let's see how it's done. So we have started off this socks with 12 stitches. So I'm going to work 12 stitches for the heel. So I'm going to start off with chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet. And then I will work one double crochet on each stitch for next 11 stitches. So all together at the end of this round we'll have 12 stitches. now for round 8 I am going to work a chain 2 turn and then I will work double crochet together so this is considered as our first double crochet 2 together so we have 12 stitches now we are going to work double crochet 2 together on every 2 stitch so on every 2 stitches we are going to work double crochet 2 together so this will reduce our stitch count to 6 stitches for round 8 so go ahead work double crochet two together on every two stitch till the end. So now uh, for round 9 we are still going to reduce the stitch count to 1. Let's see how it's done. I'm going to work a chain 2 turn and then I will work. We have uh, 5 more stitches left. I'm going to work chain 2 double crochet 5 together which will reduce our stitch count to 1 now. So with this our heel part will be complete and then we'll start working on the main part of our socks from round 10. <music> So now our heel is complete. We are start going. We are now going to start working on the main part of the socks. So we have to work uh, twelve stitches around this heel, and we have twelve more stitches on the other side. So we leave in it out to twenty four stitches in this round. So I have worked a chain three, and then I have worked one more double crochet. So we will work twelve stitches around this heel. So we can just work double crochets but if you work double crochets you are going to see more spaces. So I am going to make, I have worked chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet. Then I have worked one more double crochet and now I will work double crochet 2 together. This is just to reduce the spaces. I am going to work double crochet 2 together. So you can add even more stitches but make sure you have only 12 stitches around the heel. 
so I have worked one double crochet um, sorry one chain three one double crochet double crochet two together then I will work three double crochets on the sides and then I'm going to work one more double crochet two together and with this one side of my heel will be complete so we have worked seven stitches in this side so while finishing off the heel on the other side we will work five more stitches on the other side to make it as 12 stitches for this heel part now we have 12 stitches left here so we are going to work one double crochet on each stitch for next 12 stitches <laughs> So now we have reached the other side of the heel so we need to work five stitches on this side so I'm going to start off by working double crochet two together like how we have done on the other side and then I will work so we have finished here with double crochet two together then I have worked three double crochet then I have worked double crochet two together and I have worked two double crochets so we have seven stitches on this side so we need to work five stitches here so I have started off with double crochet two together and then I will work three more double crochets evenly spaced and then I will work once again double crochet two together so which will make my stitch count as five on this side so we already have seven stitches on that side of the heel so which will even it out to 12 stitches so then I'm going to work as once this is done I will work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 3 and close this round 10 so at this end of round 10 we will have 24 stitches around <laughs> So from round 11 to round 14 we are just going to repeat this I'm going to work a chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet and then I will work one double crochet on top of each stitch of round 10 around which will give my stitch count as 24 and then I will work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 3 to close this round so I'm going to repeat this until round 14 start off with chain 3 and then work one double crochet on each stitch around so at the end of each round I'll have 24 stitches go ahead repeat go ahead and repeat this until we reach 14 round 14 I'll meet you at the end of round 14 <music>
so now we have reached the end we are going to work the border to finish off the socks so I'm going to work a back post single crochet followed by a chain 2 so this is considered as our first back post double crochet stitch and then on the next stitch I'm going to work front post double crochet stitch so I'm going to alternate between back post double crochet in one stitch and front post double crochet on the next stitch around so go ahead work one back post double crochet in one stitch and one front post double crochet on the next stitch around and then we'll work a slip stitch on top of our starting back post single crochet chain 2 stitch to close this round 15 <music> Now we are going to repeat round 15 for round 16. We will start off by working back post single crochet chain 2 on our first stitch which is considered as our first back post double crochet stitch and then we will work one front post double crochet on the next stitch and then we are going to repeat working back post double crochet in one stitch and front post double crochet on the next stitch around and once that is done I am going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting back post single crochet chain 2 stitch to close this round 16 so this is the end of the socks we can work a slip stitch and fasten off and weave your ends <laughs> So this is our socks for 0 to 3 month size. You can uh, use it as is or if you want to add a little detailing, I'm going to add a bow and a pearl to the socks. So I'm going to use the same color yarn. I'll work a slip knot and then I will work chain 35 and work a slip stitch and weave both the ends and then shape this like a bow and uh, sew it on the socks along with the pearl. So this is going to give a cute look to your socks. So here is your uh, socks 
with a bow and pearl embellishment and uh, when you're making the other pad make sure you add this bow to the other side so that the bow comes on the outer side of your socks so you can see this how I have added the bow and you can add them in the same way and I hope you enjoyed uh, the pattern for this baby sock and uh, you can find the written pattern in my blog which is in the description box for all other sizes I hope you enjoyed the video please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well thanks for watching bye